Hi guys, Korean movie recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm going to recap a 2001 Korean action movie, called My Wife is a Gangster. This movie tells the story of a female gang boss who wants to fulfill her sister's dying wish of her marrying a man soon. So, will she succeed in getting a husband despite her occupation? Let's find out. Moon Jin is a woman who has risen up the ranks of a Korean gang, becoming the number two in the organization despite her gender. She has a dark past. Her parents had died when she was young, leaving only herself and her sister in the orphanage. She was later separated from her sister as she made a name for herself in the underworld. One day, she manages to reunite with her sister, but she isn't really in a good condition. Moon Jin tries to threaten the doctors, telling them to perform the surgery on her sister. However, the doctors tell her that it would be no use. Her sister's cancer can't be cured anymore. She later meets up with her sister, receiving a request from her. She wants to see Eun Jin get married. Eun Jin returns to her headquarters. Her underlings are all shocked upon hearing her request. She requests help from them to try and help her find the man of her dreams for the sake of her sister. One of her underlings, Romeo, tries to help her out and invites a stylist to the headquarters. The stylist starts applying makeup on Eun Jin's face to make her more womanlike, since her style is rather masculine. The stylist also gives her some tips on how to seduce a man, after seeing how bad Eun Jin's sweet talk really is. At night, Eun Jin goes on a blind date arranged by Romeo in a restaurant. The masculine Eun Jin is now in a feminine dress, yet the way she walks, talks, and sits, doesn't show a single speck of feminineness. With a hired pair of parents, she meets her first blind date. But past her introduction to the male's family, they walk out of the table. Due to this failure, she beats up her underlings on the rooftop. After the disastrous date, Eun Jin parks her car on the side of the road and goes for a smoke. Two men pass by and cuss Eun Jin for parking that badly and drive off. This frustrates Eun Jin, causing her to chase after the car and ram them from the side. Eun Jin and the men get out of the car. She kicks the men on the chest a couple of times, causing them to run away. Eun Jin then starts smashing their car, causing them to turn back and try to beat her up. A man, Soil, intervenes, telling them they must not beat a woman up. As he tries to protect the gangster, Soil gets hit on the head by a brick thrown by Eun Jin instead. He is quickly taken to the hospital. After he is given treatment, Romeo thinks that he can be a good candidate for another blind date for Eun Jin. After some investigation on Soil's background, another blind date is arranged for her. This time, the date goes better. Eun Jin asks if he wants to marry her. Soil isn't creeped out by the immediate request, but walks off from her for some time to think about it. Eun Jin then goes to the bathroom, where she is ambushed by two men from a rival gang, the White Sharks. She manages to evade the man's knife, grabbing him and throwing him onto the ground. She also evades the attacks of the other man, kicking him on the chest. The two men run out of the restaurant afterwards, followed by Eun Jin. Soil suddenly shows up with a bouquet of flowers, answering her request and agreeing on the marriage. Word of Eun Jin's marriage arrives into the White Shark's ears. The rival gang decides to crash her marriage. As Eun Jin and Soil walk down the aisle, her underlings receive word about the White Shark's plan. They quickly find the rival gang's underlings who are trying to pour paint onto the couple. Romeo and his recruit start beating up their rivals, but this causes a lot of noise in the church. Eun Jin's marriage is still somewhat ruined due to the mess and disturbance created by the two gangs. After the ceremony, Eun Jin and Soil stay in a hotel together. The man tries to make moves on his wife on their first night, but Eun Jin thinks that he is being gross, running into the bathroom and hiding inside for the night. Soil falls asleep as he waits for his wife's arrival, but wakes up in the middle of the night. He sees his wife sleeping on the couch and decides to pick her up and carries her to the bed. As he tries to take her clothes off, Eun Jin kicks him away in her sleep. A failed first night for him. The next evening, Soil returns home and finds his wife sleeping on the bed. He decides to try and make another move on his wife, unbuttoning her shirt. However, Eun Jin wakes up and pins him down, telling him to not touch her. At night, Soil experiences difficulty sleeping with Eun Jin due to her snores and sleep talking. 
Days after, Soyil invites his colleagues to his house to celebrate his marriage. Eun Jin, however, shows no manners, even to one of his colleagues' children. All of this terrible behavior from Eun Jin frustrates Soyil, causing him to scold her about their relationship. The next day, Eun Jin meets up with her sister, whose condition is worsening. Eun Jin takes her back to her new house and introduces her to her new husband. Her sister is happy to see them being together. At night, however, her sister makes another request to Eun Jin. She wants to see her have a baby. The next day, she asks the stylist from before for some tips on how to get pregnant. After receiving them, Eun Jin tries applying them onto her husband at night, but it doesn't seem to work. She decides to use her own methods and goes straight for the intercourse. The next few days are filled with intimacy for the two as well, even going as far as having fun in the elevator and on a table. Days after, while having a meal with the gang, Eun Jin is approached by a man from the White Shark Gang. He is asked to leave, but stay still. This frustrates Eun Jin, causing her to stab him on his head, barely missing his eye. The next day, a meeting between the two clans is held because of this incident. Eun Jin meets the boss of White Shark together with her boss, trying to sort things out. The conclusion of the meeting is that Eun Jin has a duel with one of White Shark's higher-ups, Nan Man. The two meet up on the fields, starting the duel. Nan Man manages to get the first strike, landing a cut on Eun Jin's cheek with his knife. Nan Man then manages to kick one of Eun Jin's knives away from her. The two skillfully parries each other's knife strikes. Eun Jin jumps onto him, but Nan Man evades her. Nan Man grabs her and the two roll down the hill and Eun Jin's head accidentally hits a rock and her stomach is also stabbed by his knife. The injured Eun Jin is pounced on by Nan Man, but she manages to evade him. Nan Man then realizes he is on the edge of the cliff and is pushed away by Eun Jin. Miraculously, Nan Man gets up afterwards, choking Eun Jin but she flips him over. As she pins him down, Eun Jin stabs her knife down, intentionally missing Nan Man's head by mere inches and sparing him as she wins the duel. In the evening, Eun Jin treats her wounds back at her house. Soil returns home and immediately rushes to her side to help her out. He also tells her that her sister is in the hospital as her condition has worsened. The next day, Eun Jin goes to the apothecary, buying an ointment and also a pregnancy test pack while she's at it. The tests come out positive and she shares the good news with her sister. Her sister is happy for her and asks her to tell her husband right away. Eun Jin calls Soil while he's at work, merely telling him to come home early. He returns home but to his surprise, he spots his wife's massive tattoo on her back instead. Eun Jin then explains all the lies she has told him. Her occupation, the real reason for their marriage, and others. Soil forgives her, but requests her to stop from her line of work, to which she refuses as it has become her identity. The next day, Eun Jin's sister is in critical condition. Eun Jin stays by her side and is requested to live happily with Soil, before her sister passes away moments after. Night falls and elsewhere, Romeo is waiting for his girlfriend, planning a date after she has finished working. While waiting, some street punks pick a fight with Romeo and manage to stab him in the stomach, fleeing the scene soon after. His girlfriend finds him lying on the street. Romeo compliments her one last time, before dying in her arms. His girlfriend immediately calls his gang and tells them the horrible news, with the gang assuming that it was the White Shark's plot. Just when Eun Jin's household starts to get better, the horrible news reaches her. Her gang's underlings barge into White Shark's headquarters, seeking revenge. However, they are outnumbered and lose the fight. Eun Jin arrives late to the party, with all her underlings already beaten up. Eun Jin easily lands kicks onto White Shark's underlings, while also using her knives to block the wooden bats trying to hit her. She continues using her jump kicks onto her opponents. Despite her impressive performance, she's still outnumbered and takes hits from some of the underlings. She decides to go straight to the higher-ups, but eventually falls from quite some height, lying crippled on the floor. Nan Man shows up, seeking revenge for his earlier loss. Nan Man steps and kicks on her stomach as she begs him to stop, because she is pregnant. However, Nan Man doesn't care. Eun Jin's boss suddenly shows up and starts talks with White Shark's boss, handing some documents in exchange for Eun Jin and her underlings' lives. Soil finds her wife at the hospital, all beaten up. 
the nurse then also tells him that she has lost a lot of blood due to miscarriage. Only then did he know that his wife had been pregnant. This angers Soil, seeking to take revenge on the white shark. Meanwhile, said gang is having fun at a nightclub for their win. Soil manages to barge inside their room and starts pouring alcohol onto all the gang's bodies. As he lights up his lighter, he gets ambushed from behind, stopping his intentions of burning the gang alive. However, the white shark's boss foolishly lights himself and his colleagues up in flames as he goes for a cigarette, with Soil managing to run away from the disaster. In the end scene, a showdown between Unjin's gang and another gang is going to happen, with Soil now joining the gang, ready to stay by his wife's side in her future endeavors. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.